Welcome back to the Mini Machine Shop. I'm Dave. Just got a package in the mail here. Nice. Yep. Little Machine Shop. Let's see what it looks like. I hope. I hope. I hope. I know it's the entire panel. But I want to keep my old panel, so I'm going to try to get put the control board, the motor control board, in the old panel. Their catalog. Wow, it's getting thicker. They're adding more stuff. This is a lot thicker. Oh, they got an Eagle Oiler. <laughs> All right. Hey, a box in the box. All right. So, get rid of that. That's kind of messed up. They buckle the box like that. It's weird. box, that's why. Alright, here's the whole panel, huh? Black. The picture didn't show it was black on the uh, internet. Smells good. Oh, it's definitely kind of dirty. <laughs> Very dirty. What's the board look like? Oh, this is slick. Jesus. Oh, yeah. You can eat that. It's like a direct replacement. Hot stuff, the mounting, everything. Right, same screws, same screw positions. So good, I don't have to deal with this. Speed. It doesn't have a click in it. <laughs> Neither does mine. The click broke a long time ago. All right, well, that's the guy, and. Uh, I'll get it mounted in there. Hopefully I'll be up and running in a short time. Well, that was a lot of fun. Right. Um, first thing first, I wanted to keep my original red matching panel rather than having this. Do not attempt to swap like I did unless you really know what you're doing. You'll need the Phillips screwdriver magnetized, well no, it doesn't matter, because that's why you need long needle nose, because um, the board actually lines up with the existing screw holes that are in the, the front plate, but the screws they supply and the screws that I had in the old one are not magnetic, and there's one spot that's real tight, and you're going to have to drop the screw down with needle nose. As far as soldering, you're going to need a serious soldering iron because it's uh, there's some coating on the wires that you have to scrape off to try to get it to re-solder into the old panel. You'll need a solder sucker to clean it up. You'll need some very good dikes, <laughs> screwdriver, plier, or wrench, crescent wrench. That was a lot of work. And after getting it in there, you turn it on and nothing happens. And I'm double checking the wiring, the fuse, everything called um, the little machine shop. The guy gave me this online document to go through and test everything. Everything tests okay. What they didn't tell you is that, let me turn the camera around there. Yeah, there it is. What they didn't tell you, because I always have it in forward. Turn it on, light comes on, nothing. You have to have that off, you have to have that neutral, then turn it on, then throw it, now it works. But if you hear this thing, listen to it, it speeds up, and then it um, slows down. This is a messed up controller. Whoever designed this, look at that. The feedback system is really messed up. So I am not happy with this controller, but I'm not sure what to do. So that's my report for now.